Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are making nacho cheese flatbread. Today's show is brought to you in part by Cindian Natural Food Products. Cindian is a family-owned and operated Australian company celebrating 20 years in business making a wide range of affordable, plant-based, gluten-free products like burgers, sliders, sausages, and more. No preservatives, stabilizers, emulsifiers, or additives. Just clean, minimally processed, whole food ingredients that never compromise on flavor. In the U.S., you can find Cindian products in many independent health food and specialty grocery stores, and in the freezer aisle at select Meyer stores, or by ordering online at Meyer.com. In Australia, you'll find them online at cindian.com.au and at your local supermarket. Cindian, guided by nature. So happy new year. It is officially 2021 and we are gonna start off this new year with an amazing simple recipe, nacho cheese flatbreads. So I have an original version of this, just a plain flavored lentil flatbread. Both of these recipes will give you a link in the details below with the printable recipe. So these are, this is one cup of red split lentils that I've already rinsed and soaked for three hours and I just drained off the liquid. So we're gonna throw that in our blender here. Okay, and we have one and a half cups of water. You are not gonna believe how simple and easy this recipe is. I'm gonna do one teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of Bragg's liquid aminos. And if you don't have Bragg's liquid aminos, you could use a low sodium soy sauce or tamari sauce. That works great too. We have a half a cup of nutritional yeast and a half a cup of salsa. You can use whatever salsa, whatever flavor, you know, favorite flavor you have, or if you like a real spicy salsa, this is a medium, just plain salsa. Okay, now we're just gonna blend this until it's really smooth and creamy. On my blender, it's just a mixing uh, setting and it goes for about 30 seconds. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our new Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy Cookbook, are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting members. By becoming a supporting member, you gain access to great member perks, like monthly product giveaways, free downloads of our eBooks, and access to our in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. We create this show for the hundreds of thousands of viewers just like you who tune in each month from all over the world to make it easy for everyone to live a plant-based lifestyle. So if you love our content, please join us on our mission and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, there's your mixture. How simple is that, right? Okay, so what I have here is my Bella griddle. This is a ceramic coated, non-toxic, non-stick griddle. Uh, you could probably try a very well seasoned cast iron pan, but it will not work in a stainless steel pan. It just sticks too much. There's a lot of starch in here and it just tends to stick. So this thing, when it goes on, it's gonna pop and sputter. There we go. So this depends, this is totally up to you how big you wanna make these. I like to make them about the size of, I don't know what that size would be. A hamburger bun maybe, because I think these would be great as hamburger buns we like to eat them just plain because they have so much flavor. But they would be great for making sandwiches with. Oh, they're just so yummy. 
But the plain ones, the plain flavor, I like to have them, I like to toast them up in the morning. You know, I already have them made and I keep them in a bag in the freezer or the refrigerator. I pop one out, pop it in the toaster, and then I put peanut butter and jelly on it. I make them into sandwiches or for breakfast, you know, just peanut butter, throw some sprouts on there. They are so versatile and they really do well. So it's better just to make a bunch of them and freeze them up because they do wonderfully when they're thawed out too. So now we just have to wait. This is the part you need to be really patient on. You need to wait probably past what you would be looking for in a pancake before you flip them. Because if you try to flip these guys before they're ready, it's just gonna stick to that griddle. And you can just gingerly use you know, a spatula around the edges. Make sure you get all the edges pulled up before you try to flip that. So we're just gonna wait here until that is ready. So if you wanna come in and take a look at what they look like right before you're ready to flip them, you wanna look for the outside, those bubbles are popped. And the inside is still, it looks like it's still a little uh, liquidy in the center, but the outsides look nice and dry. So we're just gonna start flipping this. I'm just gonna go all the way around the edge first. There we go. Oh, slip around. Just gonna go on to each one. And there's still little parts that stick every once in a while, but you just have to be patient. They're so worth it. All right, so now you just let them sit it's kind of hard to tell when the bottom side is done because you know you can't see them. But it's about, I would say about a minute, a good minute or so. You can kind of tell by touching the top how firm they are. And then just pop them on a plate and go for your second round. And the tip for cleaning this guy when you're done, it's so nice and easy. Really you can clean it almost completely just with water. But if you still have some of these little stuck, stuck on edges, which you'll see when we're done, um, you can sprinkle a little baking soda all over it. Make sure there's water, put some baking soda on it after it's cooled completely. And then you just rub that in with a dishcloth and it comes right off and it looks like brand new. Definitely don't use any kind of harsh abrasives, but baking soda is perfectly fine. Okay, I think they're ready. One more, look at that, golden brown. Okay, I'm just gonna take these off the griddle. I'm gonna get the rest of these on and then I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Okay, time to taste. I'm just gonna take the little one on the top here. Oh, they're still really hot. Oh, mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait till you guys try these. I can't believe how simple they are, how easy it is to make, and how satisfying that is. Oh my gosh. Be sure to give this a like, guys. And I'll see you next time. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum.